Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on the SRT again. So you've seen in the last video, we did get it painted. So it is freshly painted and I mean fresh. It was done not even 24 hours ago. So here it is. So today's plan is we need to get this outside because A, we need the paint bay. So you'll see that we're working away getting this prepped ready to go. So Chris is just fine tuning the edges that you see. Okay, so we're all prepped, ready to go. Chris is just doing the final wipe as we speak, giving me a hand. And then he's gonna go work on the Civic truck or the Civic Ute and uh, get that ready. And then I am going to seal this and paint it. So my game plan on this is I'm gonna seal the bumpers just cause like it kind of broke through there. And there was a couple spots that I just wanted to touch up since it was being painted a second time that it was like, you know what? Let's take the opportunity to do that. So we're gonna seal the bumper. We're gonna seal front and back side skirts and we're gonna seal the rear bumper just to play it safe. Cause it was the same thing. It was a couple spots that uh, I just wanted to address. And I don't want the chance of it breaking through again. We're losing trees in our front yard like crazy right now. So I just had to take a peek. Um, and to be honest, when prepping the bumpers, it was easier to prep it with 400 and a red, gray, a red scotch right pad than it was doing it with 800. So uh, there's just so many nooks and crannies and stuff. I want to make sure it wasn't going to peel. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it. Okay guys, you see me lay sealer. I didn't show you the rest because it's kind of a pain to get stuff on the paint on the GoPro and Chris was working on the Civic U. So uh, it's done, let me show you. So here it is guys. We've been putting the car together off camera because well, I got excited and I get excited easily. So the good thing about building multiple neons is I have tons of rare or oddball things that some didn't come with, which A is this trunk carpet. So we got the trunk carpet installed. We did install the black piece back here. That's all motor stuff that will be installed when it comes time. But now we have trunk lid that shuts. That actually, I didn't really fit it yet, but this can come down probably just a bit, nothing too crazy. And this side actually looks pretty good. I'll probably do that in the next video because we're gonna cut and buff this car, make it just like a one. But we do also have a working key. Didn't want to slam it, but. Now this key is gonna be the same key for the door handle and the ignition, so there's no more two keys. Just the small things make a big difference. Chris is on the inside as we speak and he is doing seat belts, which it's kind of a pain in the butt only because this car used to have no seat belts in the back. It used to have a whole bunch of sub equipment, sub boxes. So they did put like uh, sound detonating everywhere. So they covered all the holes. So we got to peel it up. We got to find the holes for it and then bolt the seat belts back in. Thankfully, we found one at the junkyard because these neons are getting harder to find that had a black interior. So we grabbed the seat belts so we can get that to match. Okay guys, so we did get a lot of the stuff done. The car is now weatherproofed other than the sunroof and that's because I want to put a decal on the sunroof, which I'm going to do inside where it's a little warmer. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Now I do have to say that is the best tool to have in a garage when you're working on junk because who doesn't need a winch? Cut and buff because like there's a little piece of dirt right there and I just want this car to shine. So for that to happen, we went and got some 1500 sandpaper. We got 2000, 25 and 3000. We're going to cut it and I hate buffing. If you've seen the other videos with the PT Cruiser and everything else that I've cut and buff, I don't like doing it. I don't even want to do this car, but I'm going to cut it, but we're going to have Matt come along and he's going to buff it for us, guys. 
Um, it's not that I can't do it, because I can. I've shown you guys, I've done how-tos on how to buff. I just hate buffing. Buffing is not what I like to do. They say the best painter is the best buffer. Well, I guess means I'm not a good painter because I don't want to buff. So first things first, guys, is we are going to go get some water and a chamois so we can kind of wipe down the little bit of dirt that is on here that's on the outside and today our mosquito is going to go i can't believe we got a mosquito so what i'm going to do is i got a foam backing pad and i got my first sheet of 1500 this might be a little harder with one hand but we're going to wrap it up and around and then we're going to start and all we're going to do is we're going to just start sanding Probably what I should do is, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a cloth, try to make sure there's no dirt, because the car has been sitting. Wipe it down a little bit. I'm just gonna start sanding it. So my plan here is to stay away from the edges, and I just wanna knock down if there's any dirt that I can see and if there's any orange peel, it should clean it up enough. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page. But I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, because everybody want to tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What so what we're looking for is you can see that there's no orange peel. But if you look like there, you'll see the texture. That's orange peel. So we need to sand that out. There's like that little indent, a piece of dirt. That one there is a piece of dirt. And that one up there. And you can still see orange peel through there. I barely touched it. So all we're going to do is we're going to keep on going at it, guys. You're going to watch us. We're going to do the whole car with 1500, then the whole car with uh, 2025, and we'll go from there. All right, so as you see, Jeff is wet sanding still. Um, I didn't want to show you guys all the wet sanding because, well, it's wet sanding. It's so exciting. It, it's very exciting. I'm just ecstatic here. So I'll just go over the car and show you guys what we did. So this is done up to 2500, so we did 15 to 25. You will see the edges are shiny because we stayed away from the edges. I didn't want a chance of it breaking through. And realistically, we only did this to cut out some dirt. It didn't really need to be wet sanded, to be honest. A lot of it didn't. The roof has not been touched yet because we're going to do that last because, well, it's going to probably be the pain in the butt. So the car is drying itself. You see that there's like a chalky that I can rub off. We're going to have to wipe this car down with some water. And I'm probably going to take the air hose to it and just blow all the water off of it. So it's ready to buff later on in this video. So we're going to do like a three stage buff to it. So again, the trunk lid's done. I did do the top part, all of it, because it was flat, had a little bit of dirt. And there's a couple spots I nicked on the side just because, well, it had a little bit of dirt too. So Jeff is doing the last bit of this quarter panel. And then we are going to get up onto the roof. Now, the good thing is some parts came today, which is kind of nice. We do have plug and play LED lights. That's well, kind of cool, bottom off the SRT form. The duty on these was not cool. Sucks to be Canadian. $120 I paid UPS for a brokerage fee. And we did get our intercooler plates in as well. So it's like a little box end, so it stops the rad support cracking. This is uh, an SX 2.0. So the front rad support has been cut out for the bigger intercooler. So I wanted that just to help with that. So it's really not that bad. The color looks even nice wet sanded. All right, so as you've seen, Matt is buffing the car. This side here obviously hasn't been touched yet. It's been 15, two and 25. You see it has a nice flat finish. Almost just let it sit like that. And then uh, you get over here and you will see the difference in the fender. So the fender is only the first step of the buff and it's just bringing the shine back a little bit before you hit the second step. Same with the hood. You'll see just some compound just from the, uh, the buffer. This side's pretty well almost done. And with the light, with the reflection, it actually looks pretty nice. So there's really not much to show other than the car is back to its shiny state, which really pops a little more. Uh, Matt's still doing a couple things here and there. Kind of a boring progress. And while well, you've already seen it done before multiple times on the channel. We paint, we get a mess up somehow, we repaint again, 
we wet sand, we buff, here we are, the final product. And it's been chronic since I was a boy, so the Ronick and chaotic. Oh, oh. Built to last with the webs I'm weaving, I can change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them. If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing. If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave and put your foot on the gas.